Hello everybody. Uh, welcome to Wing Chun Kun once again. Uh, to wrap up the uh, design of my uh, new Pa Chan Do is uh, just to recap. Uh, this uh, positive uh, angle that sticks out here is to prevent any kind of weapons coming past the D guard into my lower extremities such as my fingers or my abdomen or my uh, legs. Um, uh, this one here has a um, a bigger distance between here to my uh, fingers which uh, I will be holding over here so that uh, when things come down here it would prevent uh, my uh, top of my hands from getting chopped off when uh, a knife comes into this area because uh, this is further away so now on this one here uh, this time I am going to illustrate uh, what is uh, the purpose of uh, this uh, arc here and uh, notably having a, uh, a hook kind of area here that comes down and then this part that goes into the blade and hooks up that creates a point here and a point there. So to recap this, uh, this here is to block low bomb even this way it stops a, a weapon in that area so that it will not come over and hit me in the face. That works quite well. Works this way, it's not going to come over. And it works this way, it's not going to come over. So now we're going to go to uh, this, this, little, this little curve here. And uh, obviously it's uh, for tan so that if you're going to go tan like this, you have notice that it, it, it contains uh, the staff and it momentarily keeps the staff in this area so that I could be secure. And what happens is when you go into a tan, you crank with your wrist, you crank the blade this way. So once you crank the blade this way, now you have uh, uh, in, in this millisecond, half a second, you have a little bit of control of this staff. Notice I can do this, I can bring it forward, I can bring it backward because you've cranked it on this side here. And because it has these little indentations that sticks out, this corner and this corner, it will trap the staff within your tan, within the quillin momentarily. And now this it becomes like a lap, like basically you're doing this, you're doing a lap. Obviously when you do a lap, you want to move forward. And then as you're pulling this back here, your right foot is to gain a step. And that is a very, very important. So all these three has to go inside once you time here. You pull, you crank, you pull back. As you pull back, you make an advance with your right foot. And now, that this person will know that you're coming forward. He is going to pull his staff back. As he pulls his staff back, he kind of pulls your blade with it. And then you can then let go and start chopping him as he pulls his blade towards him. He's also pulling the blade at himself. In comparison to these other blades, which I love this sword a lot, and it's really agile, but uh, you know how I complain about the Quillen and the D-Guard of it not working well. Um, because it's uh, made, once again, for the uh, reverse grip, this angle here of this Quillen is angled this way is angled outward so things can come in yes when you time things can come in but things can also go out here I'll demonstrate here this you got come in to a time but even if I try to crank this a lot this blade this staff can easily come in and come out there is nothing because of the smoothness of this um, quillin being a, a big angle here 
and angled outwards, there's nothing from stopping it going out. And we're talking only two inches here from the base of the, the, the quillin to the end here. And two inch of travel is nothing for a long staff to just come out and kill me. Because the staff here, they're using this hand as a pivoting point and this hand here as the control. And you would see that when I just rotate this at this end of my staff, at about just an inch of rotation, over there at the other end of the, of the stick, I'm moving at least three inches of travel, which is just this little bit of nudge. It will be enough and kill me. Notice I can pull it, crank it, and push and pull the staff down to this level without slipping, where I wouldn't be able to do it with that because of this hook on this side and this little hook on the other side. They both trap this momentarily so that when this gets into this position and I'm trying to advance, they momentarily will not be able to do this and hit me somewhere else.